In today's video guys, we're going to do a review on the tyres we've had fitted to the camper van, the leisure battery we've had fitted to the camper van and the rock and roll bed that we've also had fitted, so stick around. Hi everyone, welcome back to Dove Ventures. If you're new to the channel, my name's Tom. Now today we're going to be talking about all the things that we've had done to the van since we've had it and one of the things that we've had done is we had four new tyres fitted, it was about a year ago now and I did say that I was going to do a review on the tyres, you know after we've done like a thousand miles or so. Now we've done a few thousand miles since we've had the tyres, now what I'm going to do is one of the tyres it's actually got, um, it's losing like a little bit of pressure, sort of every, every two weeks or so I need to put about, about 5 psi of pressure in, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to DM tyres where we've got the tyres fitted and I'm just going to get them to have a quick look at it just to see if there's any issues with it so let's get on the road and let's get down there so guys here we are back at dmn tires if you do follow us you'll know that i got the tires fitted um just over a year ago um we've got naz over here Hi, now, mate. How you doing, Tom? we do get asked all the time about um because we, we do have obviously the tires on the van and we get asked all the time about like different load ratings and so on. Now I'm no expert, but what I will say is, if you're in the northwest area and you do want some like tires, not only fit to your cars and everything, but to your camper vans, this is your guy to ring because, like I said, the tires they have to have special load Co ratings and stuff like that, you know. And, yeah. and also, you get to get treated to a log fire. <laughs> I mean, how perfect is yeah. that? The good things about these guys as well is it's a family run business and the aftercare that you guys have because obviously I rang you up and I said, you know, one of my tyres is losing a bit of PSI and, you know, he didn't try to advise me over the phone, he just said, get down here because obviously... Yeah, of course, of course. At the end of the day, you know, first and foremost, we need to make sure that the, the wheels are right, the tyres are right, you're happy, mm, yeah. it's safe, it's, yeah. good, it's good to be roadworthy. Yeah. Um, and then if there's anything in the tyre, for example, you, you may have picked up a screw, as an example. Yeah. Then at that point we can deal with it, but the, yeah. the most important thing is making sure the tyre's right, and then after that we can mm. sort out whatever it is. Exactly, so you're not just getting your tyres fitted, you're going to get looked after afterwards. So I'll put a link in the description, so check these guys out if you do need some tyres for your camper van. So guys, what I'm going to try and do here is... You might not be able to pick it up on camera, but you can just see some bubbles. I'm assuming, like, just spray like some soapy solution on it or something. Yeah, yeah. So, so obviously, I mean, you can see it there as well. So, soapy solution just to see where the leaks are. Um, on this particular one, it's leaking on the bead of the tire. So, right. general sort of causes of this, um, either it's not beaded right on the wheel. Mm. Um, well, I do remember that when we got these tires fitted, because it was the tires that was actually original. To the wheel when they got yeah, done. Yeah, the yeah. tyres were wrecked, but when because it was a tyre that was fitted onto this wheel brand new, I remember when you brought it, it took some paint off. That's so, right. So yeah. it, could so it, it could it be that? Potentially, yeah. So um, it, the wheel they tend to oxidise, so right. the paintwork fails off after a bit. Right. Um, if you've gone over a pothole and it's sort of yeah. got into the wheel a bit, that can mm. that can cause it. Mm. But in any event, you know it's a it's a simple fix. You can see it all there. Um, so. Yeah, you can see it even even on there. So. Yeah. Quite a simple fix. We take the tire off, give the wheel a good clean, reseal the tire. Yeah, good. So, guys, if you're losing PSI in your tires, um, you know, if you lose losing there, there's a reason. The other thing as well, which many people might not appreciate, the biggest cause of blowout are slow foot tires. Right. That's the biggest cause. Right. Which is obviously dangerous. And so, guys, if you're losing air in your tires, get, get it off. Get, get it off. Just been talking to Naz as well um, while they're sorting that uh, tire out, and just want to point out now I've got these like Volkswagen center caps because I like my mods. And what have you just been explaining to me? So, so basically, although these metal dust caps look really, really nice and fancy, the problem with these is they react with the valve, the brass in the valve, and they seize on. Now, once they seize on, you can't get them off without having to physically break them off and that means having to replace the valve. So one, one quick tip is, if you really fancy these and you want these on, a bit of Vaseline on the valve, put the cap back on, and every so often loosen them and tighten them. That way it won't react and seize, and that way you'll also save uh, money having, not having to replace a valve. Yeah, could you, he, he's just been telling me that <laughs> how many, like tight, because obviously when he took the uh, wheel off, he noticed that had them on. You've just been explaining how many yeah, customers well, you have. Yeah, we had uh, a couple yesterday, we had one, uh, 
three or four weeks ago where we went onto the road to do mm. the job for them. She mm. had those on, she goes kind of putting them back on. We couldn't take them off because they were seized, yeah. but then I was advising her the same thing. Either don't have them on, and if you are, mm. the Vaseline trick, and every so often just sort of. And the issue is with that, if you're in the middle of nowhere, even if you've got like your own like little compressor yeah. that you can pump your tyres up, and you, you can't do anything with it. Exactly. And then the chances are, if you start forcing it, you're going to break that. Break that, and, and it's going to lose air totally. And then, and, and then you're totally stranded. So. Something so simple. Great yeah. tip, guys. Great tip. <laughs> Right guys, that's the tyres done um, on the van, so hopefully now it won't lose any pressure on that, so really do highly recommend them guys. Now what I will say is, like I said, we've had the tyres on the van for just over a year now, I would highly recommend the Avon tyres, and if you want more information about it, contact Naz at DM Tyres. Right guys, we're back home now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly go through like some of the other things that we've had done to the van sort of like over the past couple of years and just give you a quick review on each of the things that we've had done. Now one of the main things that we've had done, now this is more for Brooke as a passenger, um, we actually got a folding seat bracket and if you don't know what one of them is, you'll know that if you've got one of these double seats like this, they're quite upright but you can actually get a folding seat bracket that gives a 10% recline and it also allows the seat to fold. Now what I'll do is here, I'll just show you, you just push this down. And what that does is it actually allows for the seat to actually fold forward and what it does is it gives you so much more access and it's just a lot easier to sort of like have something like this in the van and you can put like a solid base behind here so that you can actually use it as a bit of a table and actually sit on it folding seat bracket for your van highly recommend it now one of the other things that we've actually had done in the van is the actual electrics now what that does is it gives us a couple of USBs and like we can use like a cigarette lighter and also we've had like the lights done and everything so you can have the lights switched on and off. We got that done by a company called AJC Conversions. Now since we've had that actually done, we've not done any well camping because with all the restrictions and everything we've not had a chance to like fully fully um, like use the electrics but we have done sort of like um, a lot of things like on the drive like with different videos and so on and we have actually used the electrics so again having the electrics and a leisure battery in your van Again, highly recommend to have that done. Another thing that we've had done in the van, it's the Aber Spatcher heater, you can just see there. Again, since we've had that done, we've not really done any traveling. In fact, I don't think we've done any overnight stays at all since we've had the heating done. Now, I did a 24 hour challenge video um, where I stayed in the van for 24 hours. I put a link to that video in the description below if you want to check it out. And I used the heater overnight, you know, to test it out and everything. And again, I would really highly recommend that you get a heater done in your van. Again, we got that done with AJC conversions. TV. Now we have used that overnight because we have had that since we stayed at some campsites and again it's such a simple thing to have but you know what we don't spend a lot of time in the van when we're out and about uh, when we go somewhere if we stay at a campsite or anything we're there to explore and things but having a TV just makes that a little bit better knowing at night time when you get in the van you want to relax you can have a TV on. That's a Silo TV that's a 19 inch and I'll put a link in the description below so if you want to check one of them out and I would highly recommend it. Now recently I fitted this table, again we've not done any overnight stays or anything since we've had that but what we've done like, like, like using things on the uh, drive because we've had meals in the van and so on, that table highly recommend it, again link in the description below. Now one of the things that we got done when we first got our van is we actually had the full size rock and roll bed fitted in the van. Now we use this all the time you know we're sitting it in the van you know we've done loads of camping trips and things overnight stays and you know what we can use it as a seat you know when we're sat in the van and everything and we got this done by captain seats now this i mean i really really do highly recommend it's definitely something you know you should think about getting done if you want like a rock and roll bed you know in your van we got the full size one because like i said before when we're on camping trips we're all about exploring and things like that the van we just want to sleep in it at night time you know and be comfortable relaxed and comfortable in the van and having a full-size rock and roll bed that actually you know allows us to that actually enables us you know to be very comfortable in the van and everything so i would again ha we've had this in for what oh, oh, nearly three years now but i would highly recommend from catch and seats a full-size rock and roll bed if that's what you want if you've got any questions about anything that we've shown in the video today 
go and join our Dub Ventures Facebook page. Just type in Dub Ventures. Um, we've got a, like a group chat on there, um, full of really friendly people. You know, it's not full of idiots and things like that. If you want to come over and like, ask any questions, doesn't matter if it's a question that's been asked a hundred times, a thousand times before. Ask the questions. It's full of like really friendly people. Because if anybody was in there that was negative and not friendly, well they're out the group it's as simple as that you know we, we're a friendly group so come and join us and if you want to ask any questions about anything that you know we've shown today in today's video we'll talk to you about it in there and go over to our instagram page and twitter page and give us a follow on that as well that's it for today's video if you are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you are a subscriber check that you've pressed the notification bell because if you press that you get a notification every time that we put a video up and if everybody likes the video we'll really appreciate it done it excellent guys thanks for tuning in today until the next video today's video nice short and sweet straight to the point until the next one guys we're looking forward to doing some travel yes yes bye for now